Good morning, my loves. Welcome to my channel, Divine True Tarot. I am your reader, Renetta, and I'm going to be reading and tapping into the energies of Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine for the upcoming week. Please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid, and this reading is timeless, okay? I hope you like my new setup. I'm in the living room right now. I'm not at my altar or over here in my corner. I'm just sitting right here in the living room. And we're just going to get this message out, okay? All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the tool of tarot for the highest good of the collective. Please protect me and my energies as I open myself up to spirit to receive messages of love and light. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the leading energies of the divine feminine towards the divine masculine for the upcoming week? Or whenever you see this message. That's too many. Alright. Let's get one. Holy Spirit. Holy Angels. Let's get one. Okay. Two is fine. Okay. Here we have the Angel of Love. And then we have Hostilities. I heard Disappointment is here. Some of you feminists could be disappointed in your masculine at the moment. Could be mad at him <laughs> because you love him. <laughs> or he being guided by love because there is some type of um, hostilities here towards the masculine here. I don't know if they did something, said something, but it got you in your feels. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Look, yeah, broken hearted in community when I split the deck. So <clears throat> it could have been some heartbreaking news that you heard. From the community or about somebody in the community. This could be friends, families, circle, um, outside people. That's, you know, got some type of say so, something to say about this connection. Something like that. That's for some of you guys. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the leading energies of the divine masculine towards the feminine for the upcoming week? What is the leading energies of the divine masculine? Ooh. Okay, I'm only going to take this one. We have strategy. Okay. And let's see. One just flipped over over here. Excuse me, y'all. Okay. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have door to spirit. It's making me feel as though this masculine here is really trying to figure out what to do with you. What to do about this situation here. Because you're pissed off at them. And they're trying to figure out how to ease that. How to, yeah, here come the community. Yeah, this also too could be church community as well. Somebody could be, you know, um, going to people of like mind is what I heard. Like spirit getting advice here it's making me feel like this masculine is getting advice could be praying here because they don't know they don't know how to ease your hostilities towards them because they know that you're mad at them okay holy spirit holy angels what is the challenge in this connection what is the challenge in this connection Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the challenge in this connection? Get a little bit more room up here. Okay, what is the challenge in this connection, please? All right. Thank you. Healing family issues. And it says, your life benefits as you forgive your parents, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have honeymoon. Yeah, this is this is making me feel as though you there's a disconnect or a separation in this connection here. Um, and it's a challenge. It's a challenge for this masculine to try to heal this family issues that you have with your feminine, because your feminine is pissed the hell off at you. Okay, what you do, I don't know. We're gonna get into it, but yeah, this is uh, yeah, they pissed. 
Stay fist. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the advice? What is the advice for the feminine in this connection? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the advice of the feminine in this connection? If you guys see my husband walk through the shop in the background, uh, <laughs> that's just my husband getting up this Sunday morning. I don't know if he's up yet or not, but if you see him, hey, he might say hi, he might not. <laughs> All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the advice for the feminine in this connection? Thank you. Two popped up. Okay, see? We have bring love into the situation. You are highly pissed at your masculine. This is a new moon in Aquarius. And then we have your hard work is paying off. Okay? So, yeah, with the angel of love here and hard work's paying off, yeah, you really are pissed off. I don't know what they did. I don't know what they didn't do. But, yeah. But bring more love into the situation. It's making me feel as though you're questioning how you feel. Do you really want to be in this connection with the masculine in here? <clears throat> Something like that. Okay? All right. I couldn't even get it out. They said take it. But the masculine, his the advice is luck is on his side. Okay? So whatever he's trying to figure out, strategize to bring this connection back together, luck is on the masculine side. And then it says, show the world the real you at the bottom of the deck. You need to show this feminine who is your world, the real you. Quit hiding is what I'm hearing. Quit hiding. <clears throat> so, you know. What it is that you're hiding? I have no idea, but we're just going to hop right on in. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What can you tell me about this connection? Can we get five, please? What can you tell me about this connection, please? Okay. We got five. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, booyah, we have Justice. Libra Energy is here. Oh, happy birthday to Libras. It is Libra season. Okay. We are officially in Libra season. But the first card flying out is the page of water. Apologies here. From this masking about whatever he did to piss you off, feminine. Okay? And then, oh, well, we have more than five, but we'll take it. We'll take it. And then here we have the full Aries energy. We have the high priestess. Ooh, beautiful. That's Pisces energy. We have the ace of earth. Ooh. And then we have... The world energy, fixed energy is here. Wow. Wow. You're going to get over it, feminine. We have the wheel of fortune. We have the world and the wheel of fortune side by side with the three of air. You see what I'm saying? You're going to move past this, feminine. Because this is something that broke your heart that done pissed you off about your masculine here. But this masculine is coming in with an apology here. Okay, he want to have a new start. You have the world in the full. Lessons have been learned from this connection here. Okay, it has. It really has. It's making me feel like though this masculine learned his lesson about pissing you off because you have the will of fortune here. Okay, this is positive movement forward here. Okay, all fixed signs are here as well. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Libra, a Leo, or a Taurus. I almost said Libra because Libra is here as well. Aries is here. And then we have the three of air. See, this is what's holding this connection back. Or this is what's hesitating or stagnating this connection moving forward. Because this ma this feminine is still heartbroken and pissed off at this masculine here. But whatever he has done. Or she. Don't matter. Okay. But this masculine is really trying to figure out how to make this right here. Healing family issues is a challenge here. Okay. It's a challenge for both of you guys. But this masculine is really wanting this. This healing to happen for you guys here. They done learned their lessons and want to move forward. We have the Ace of Earth here. Okay, brand new opportunity moving forward here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> it's making me feel as though this feminine has lost faith in this connection here. Because of whatever it was that the masculine has done. I'm going to clarify that um, strategy and the hostilities in the angel of love here in a minute. Okay, but right now we're going to clarify the main energies out here. But it, it feels good. It feels as though faith is going to be restored in this connection here. 
as soon as this feminine get over the hurt, and I don't mean get over, I mean like process through it, you know, um, make a decision about what you would like to happen in this connection, what you need to do in this connection here. But it's making me feel as though this masculine is really, really remorseful, apologetic here. Yeah, it's new moon energies. Yeah, new moon in Capricorn, new moon in Aquarius, and the moon, new moon in Sagittarius. So yeah, there's a fresh start that's coming to this connection. It's feeling like though it's still this anger that the feminine have towards the masculine feels old. Okay, it's feel real old, or it feels like it's been there for a while. Okay, you're working through your anger with the angel of love here. Okay, that's why your advice is to bring love into the situation. It's like you've grown cold towards this masculine because of this three of swords energy here. This three of swords energy feels old though. It feels like it's time to heal from it or it's time to move on from it here. But feminine, you're holding on to the anger that you have because of it. Okay, all right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, let's clarify. Let's clarify the page of water, please. Let's clarify the page of water. That's way too many. That's way too many, Holy Spirit. Let's get one. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Clarify the page of water, please. Thank you. The chariot. See what I mean? Positive movement forward. This is also to discipline and balance here moving forward. Yeah, it's a lot of movement here. You guys are going to get over. You're going to get past this. You're going to get through this, okay? Okay, what's the um, fool? Clarify the fool. A lot of major arcanas out here, which is good. It's good because you have the world, the will of fortune, right side by side with the ace of earth, baby. Let me tell you, you will be pulled out of this anger. The angel of love is going to pull the feminine out of this anger. It's going to be wrapped. This, this, this anger is going to be wrapped up in love as soon as you bring love into it. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Clarify the fool. Thank you. What's this? The page of wands. Mm -hmm. Good news. There's a message that's coming in. It could be good news. It could be good news of a brand new start. Also, to that apology that's coming in, it's good news toward you, towards you, feminine. So now you can move forward into this new energy with the masculine here. Okay? It's like it's going to be a relief. A relief and a release is what I'm hearing. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who can tell me about the high priestess? Who can tell me about the high priestess, please? And thank you, my love. That's Pisces energy. Um, you could be holding back feelings, or hot, or yeah, you could be holding back feelings, feminine. Not really letting this masculine know exactly how you feel about what is what they have done to piss you off. Um, it's making me feel as though you don't want to add fuel to the fire, so you're letting it smolder within you. But it's keeping you, it's making you bitter. It's making you hostile. You got to release this hostile energy. You got to let them know how they really hurt you. Okay. What is this? Yeah. You, you're not doing it. You have the queen of pentacles and the hang, <clears throat> the hangman, excuse me. <clears throat> this is taking a good look. Taking a good look at your, of yourself. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're taking a good review of yourself. You could be listening to your higher self here. Yeah, being taught. The age of love is here. You're being taught how to listen to your higher self regarding this masculine here. There's things that you're looking at differently in this connection. You see and realizing that you are um, stable and abundant here in your thinking. You are stable in your thinking here. It's making me feel as though this masculine knows that you're trying to figure out what to do about this connection here. It's a little fear on the masculine side as to what you're going to do regarding this connection here. Okay. What's the Ace of Earth? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the Ace of Earth, please? Hmm. Oh, we have the high priestess again. And here you are, feminine. Taurus, Libra energy. Taurus and Libra is out here strong. So you could be a Taurus or a Libra or a Pisces. Feminine. <clears throat> mm. 
We have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Baby, let me tell you something. Feminine, it's because you're growing. The, the, the hostile energy source is masculine here is because you're growing. You're growing spiritually. So it's making me feel as though this masculine is not catching up or is not on the same energetic level here or spiritual level with you. And it's pissing you off at the fact that you um, you love this masculine. You want to work through your, um, how should I say, your issues with this masculine here. But it's making me feel as though you're you're a lot more spiritually advanced than this masculine and this masculine is trying to figure you out trying to get on your level to see if they can match you spiritually or energetically but it's making it's taking a long time or it's taking a while for this masculine to either wake up and realize who you are to them or who you are in this connection here or it's taking them a long time to even start their own journey their own uh, ascension journey here. It's kind of making me feel like this masculine is holding this feminine back. This feminine must go on. But for some of you guys, this masculine can't come because they're just they're just not. Um, how should I say that spiritually advanced? So it's like the more you advance spiritually, the more y'all separate because there's nothing there that's. Um, how should I say, keeping a connection together or keeping you together in this connection because you're you're evolving and moving on. And this masculine is not. Or it's, he can't figure it out. I'm going to say they're not. They, they can't figure it out. They can't figure out how to get you. Okay? Are they still starting, to, are they starting to learn about this journey or their role in your life because you're on your journey? Okay, all right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. We can't tell you about the world. Thank you. Look, the Three of Swords is here again. That's the end of that. That's the end of that. Whatever this masculine has done to you, feminine, it, for some reason, it, it's taking you a long time to get over it and or process through it. I want to say get over it, okay? Especially with this world energy here, okay? Because you have the world energy and the Wheel of Fortune, but you got the Three of Swords surrounding it here, okay? So, yeah, get over it. You're holding on to the anger of being heartbroken or be holding on to the anger of whatever it was that this past man has done that caused this three of swords energy. But because you're holding on to that hostility, now this masculine is feeling this three of swords energy as well. This is for some. Okay. What else can you tell me about the world energy? Let's see. Thank you. Look, the four of wands. Yeah. You're going to get over this heartbreak and y'all going to move forward. Uh-huh. This masculine is going to figure out what to do and how to do it. Okay? Yes, he is. Or she is. Or whoever they are. Um, no gender in tarot. But if I say he, she, they, them, you know what I'm talking about. Just put the players where they lay. The energies where they may. You know your story. I don't. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune, please. And the Three of Swords. They came out together. What can you tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Swords? What else can you tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Swords? But there's a lot of hurt here. But because of this hurt or because of this anger behind this hurt, then you're being taught. You're being taught a lot about yourself dealing with this masculine here. This is why the High Priestess is out here tw twice with the Empress. <coughs> Spirit is teaching you about your role in this or about what you need to do in order to move past this because this anger here is just a lot it's a lot the hostilities that you have is a lot but you're being taught the lessons of love because of this hostile energy that you have towards this masculine okay a lot of self-love is here with this empress and high priestess out here twice mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but apology is coming to you okay let's take the two that didn't come out that didn't fall on the floor mm. clarifying the three swords and the will of fortune Five of Swords. And the Knight of Wands. You just tired of the bullshit. You tired of the bullshit and the head games here. Okay. Yeah, you tired of the bullshit and the head games. Let's get one more. Whoop, let's just... That's too many. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune by itself. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune by itself. 
What's that with a fortune? What is what is turning? What is moving forward? Thank you. Ooh, the seven of swords. Lies and manipulation is here. Fortune is going to change. So any type of lies, deception, um, or miscommunication. You have the seven of pinnacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, any type of lies, deceit, backstabbing, anything. It's, it's getting cleared away. As soon as you let the universe do it, quit holding on to that hostility that you have towards this masculine for yourself, feminine. It doesn't necessarily mean that you guys are getting back together. It just means that this the lessons have been learned and this cycle is closing. Okay? And you're spiritually ascending feminine because of this cycle closing. And you have a brand new beginning here with this full energy. Okay? With this full energy. Yeah, you have a, could be having a brand new beginning in love with this page of cups and this full energy here. Somebody new could be coming in. Coming in hot, coming in fast here. Because you close the cycle out with this masculine here. Okay? It's making me feel as though... Because this is a, this is a divine masculine. This is a divine masculine here. Um, but you just, you're just ascending faster than what they can even phantom to catch up to. Is what I'm hearing? Yeah. It's like they're missing, misfiring in this connection with you, feminine. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify this hostilities. What can you tell me about the hostilities? Okay. They say change decks. But all in all, with the the final energy being the <clears throat> justice, yeah, the world will fortune justice. It's all going to work out in both you guys' favor. Okay. The scales will be balanced between you guys in this connection. Okay. Between you guys or within yourself or between each other but it's going to start within self so you can balance out with each other okay but you got to balance yourself out first all right all right holy spirit holy angels why is hostilities out here in the feminine energy toward the masculine what is, what is the feminine man about walking away this masculine could have walked away from this feminine here emotionally walked away mm -hmm. what else can you tell me about the hostilities thank you Ooh, that was a jumper ten of cups okay This feminine could be hostile towards this masculine here because she have to walk away to go towards her ten of cups. Or she is highly pissed off and heartbroken at this masculine because he walked away and went towards something that was more um, emotional satisfying. And this is why this feminine is pissed. That's why I said it's a separation here. It's a separation. You got to go find your happiness here. You got to walk away emotionally in order to find your complete emotional happiness. This connection right here is, is tough. It's strenuous. It's a lot going on here emotionally. What is this? Yeah. We have the nine of swords. Okay. Yeah, you up it. This, this, this masculine that walked away from this feminine. Yeah. Yeah, then walked away from this divine feminine here. And it got it stressed out here. Look, king of swords. Ooh, heartless. Ooh. The ten of swords is here again. The king of swords and the nine of swords is the ten of swords here. Yeah, this was a betrayal. This masculine betrayed this feminine here that walked away towards something else that was more emotionally satisfying here. And this feminine feel betrayed here. Yeah. That's why this betrayal energy is going to be wrapped up in love. Or this feminine has to wrap this up in love in order to heal and move on from this connection with this masculine here. <coughs> uh -huh. It's like this masculine lost their place. When he was with the divine feminine, he was a divine masculine. But since the separation, he's just masculine. Yeah, it's too much deceit here, or it's too many lies, head games here. That cycle is closing because there's a lot of hurt here. What else can you tell me? What can you tell me about the angel of love spirit? Thank you. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles. There could be new love coming into this feminine, but it's a little slow. <laughs> Look, Ace of Pentacles. Or it could be money, a new job opportunity, or something like this. Something that this feminine love. Okay? Yeah. It could be money. Some type of money here, but it's coming in slow, okay? Patience is needed is what I'm hearing. Yeah, your hard work is paying off. So you could be getting a promotion at your job, feminine. Um, you could be, I heard, here hitting the lottery, getting an inheritance, you know, some type of unexpected money that was a gift from God here, okay, in order for you to move on. Yeah, what else can you tell me about the angel of love, please? 
But for some of you guys, this is new love coming in with this page of cups here. In the um, full energy, sitting side by side. Yeah, this is a brand new love coming in. But let's can you tell me about the angel of love, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What can you oh, thank you. Look, the lovers. Can't make this up. Yeah, something that, that new love situation is coming into you, feminine. Yeah, because you, you've been left out. You've been left out and left behind. Okay, that shit hurts. But there's new love in it. Gemini energy is here. This could be a Gemini coming in towards you. Yeah, that is just a, a brand new <sighs> chance at love is what I'm hearing. Why? Because your hard work towards this masculine is paying off with another love coming in. Okay, or a job. Uh-huh. What is this? Look, you have the ace of wands and the moon. You didn't see it coming. You don't you didn't see it coming here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you didn't see this coming. This is why you're the empress here. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't see it coming. Look at three of wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Cancer energy is here too. But yeah, it's something that is more exciting, something that is more giving to you in a connection versus this masculine here. It's making me feel like this masculine was once a divine masculine and got demoted. Or could have took themselves out of being on a um a twin flame journey with you, feminine, because they saw something that was more emotionally um, happier for them, okay? A lot of times, a lot of people don't, they can't take the journey, you know, because it's a lot to, it, it's a lot that is um, required to be on a twin flame journey, so took yourself off the races here. This is probably what this, this masculine was trying to strategize and see how they can remove themselves from this journey here because it's just too much. You are too much, feminine. You too much to live up to is what I'm hearing. Okay. Damn. Okay. Yeah, feminine. You're too much to, to live up to. This is why I said you're more spiritually advanced and ascended than this masculine here. And this masculine feel that, as though they can't keep up or catch up. So they just going to let it go. Okay. All right, Holy, and this is why he's a masculine. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify the strategy for the masculine energies. Why is the strategy here for the masculine in this connection? Page of Wands. Okay, so flying out, and then here go the High Priestess again. You got a High Priestess out here three times. This this masculine is trying to reach out to you. It could be on the five D. This this masculine is trying to get to you. Trying to speak to you, trying to get to you, trying to get you here. Feminine. Okay. They could be trying to reach you on the 5D here. They know that you're spiritually ascended and they can't get it. Here we have the King of Pentacles here. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is out here twice. Good luck is here. Yeah, good luck is here. This masculine feels like he can move forward with you, feminine. This is for some. Yeah, and for others, this masculine is going to wait. They're going to wait until they can build themselves up in order to match you. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't think this masculine is not thinking of this connection. Or don't think this masculine is not trying to move in the energies of being connected with you, feminine. It's just you're just too damn high vibing. And they don't know. But they're learning. They're willing to learn. Okay. Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune out here twice, yeah. They're going to take all the time that they feel that they need in order to get on your energetic level so you can come together, okay? Yeah, this is what's here. All right, my love. This is what I have for you for the upcoming week of Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. It's making me feel as though this Divine Masculine know they're, leave, they're losing their place in you, in your life. They know that they're being demoted, is what I'm hearing. And so they're trying to catch up. They're trying to make up time. They're trying to um, put in motion their way of spiritually ascending as well. They know they got to get on your energetic level, and this is what they're doing in their own way. Okay. All right. This is what I have for you. So till next time. Bye.